from this tutorial we will start 3d modeling click on iso part right click on synchronous transition to order and click on extrude click on the surface on which you want to create the sketch click on the plane then create the sketch if you have not viewed my previous tutorial on sketch please view it in it the sketch environment has been explained in detail then use give the dimensions using smart dimensions and click on close sketch then give the thickness how much you want suppose I want it to be 20 then give the side click on the side where you want the part and click on finish and now extrude is still on if you want to create next part you can directly click on the plane and create the next sketch want to create this rectangle by two points give the dimension close sketch again give the height and give the side and click on finish and cancel to come out of the extrude command to create cut click on cut then select the plane on which you want to create the sketch then create the sketch give the dimensions and click on close sketch then give the thickness how much thickness you want for cut and give the direction on which side you want to cut and click on finish and cancel then if you want to edit any of the feature click on it and from here you can edit the definition and by clicking on this you can make the changes to the definition if you want to make any suppose I want to increase the thickness to 30 and side is upper side so any changes if you want to make you can edit it click on finish click on the feature from here you can edit the profile also if you want to make changes to sketch click on it and here I want to add one half circle click on the circle create one circle then trim the unwanted entities then click on close sketch now here it is giving profile not close and it is showing the area also this profile is not closed here the connection is not correct close it and then apply corner tool trim corner select this line and this curvature so it will connect properly then click on close sketch click on finish so in this way you can modify any feature click on the feature you can dynamic edit also click on dynamic edit click on the dimension and change it so you, you don't need to go inside the sketch if you want to change the thickness make it 20 in this way from the part environment you can directly edit using select dynamic edit if you don't want any feature just right click it and delete it so it will remove that particular feature and we will see what are the other options available in extrude command for that we will start one new part iso part ok then again right click order then extrude select the plane create one sketch then close sketch we have seen you can give the thickness on one side you, if you want to create object on both sides of the sketch you will have to click on this non symmetrical extent then give thickness on one side click on that side where you want this thickness then give the thickness on other side suppose on other side I want 30 and click that side in this way you can give thickness on both side of the sketch again we will click on this extrude extend step and if you want to extrude symmetrically click on this symmetric extend give the thickness how much you want 30 enter so we will extend 
symmetric and the thickness will be a total height that means it will extrude by half on either side of the sketch again click on this extend step then again if you want to go for single direction click on this cancel this non symmetric extent and cancel this symmetrical extent also again you will be able to extend on one side and click on the side you want to extend suppose I want it to be 50 and click on the side it again extruded on one side then other option is treatment step click on it using treatment step you can apply the draft and you can apply the crown click on this draft then give the angle and enter it will draft by that angle again click here and if you want to reverse the direction of the draft click on this flip so it will flip the side for the draft same way if you want to go for crown click on this crown and then specify here the radius for the crown suppose radius is 150 so as per that it will create the crown and if you want to change the properties click on this crown parameters then here from here you can give the radius for the crown then you can give radius and takeoff give the takeoff angle 10 degree so it will consider that angle also and radius also as per that it will create the crown but you can using offset you can specify the offset and as per that offset it will create the crown and from here you can flip the sides and from here you can flip the curvature both can be flipped sides and curvature and click on ok click on preview and finish so in this way you can create the crown also then there are some more options available in extrude for that again we will create one new drawing new ISO part then make it order then extrude then select the plane I will select this vertical plane I, I will create one sketch line command is on by default create the sketch Then track the point. Okay, then close the sketch. Then I want to extrude it on both sides, make it symmetric and give the thickness 50. Then finish, zoom fit, cancel. Then again extrude, then select this internal surface, create one sketch. Then close sketch. I don't want symmetric. Click on the symmetric, it will cancel. Now, here, first option is finite extend. You can give the depth how much you want using this. The next is extrude from to extend. That means you will have to define two surfaces from where to where you want to go. From which surface to which surface you want to go. Click on this, give the from surface and give the two surface so in this way you can create the object between two surface again click on this extrude then next is extrude through next that means it will extrude up to the next surface you can give the direction below so it will go up to the next surface then again edit it and through all it will go up to the give the direction it will go up to the last surface so same options are available in cut also the same can be done using cut also then here are the different views you can view it click here from here you can view the front view back view different from all sides you can view it then there is this diametric view isometric view and trimetric view whatever your view you can view it from here then here is the different view styles are there from here you can make it wireframe then visible and hidden edges both edges are shown then visible edges only visible edges are shown then th this is shaded mode and this is shaded with visible edges then you can zoom fit it 
then you can zoom area if you want to view the particular area you can use this zoom area then zoom press the first button and drag the mouse you can zoom plus minus then zoom fit then pan is there so all these option you can use it so thanks for watching we will stop here